Hello everybody. Um, I just re tried to record this video once and it went wrong, which I'm very disappointed about. But anyway, I'm back to attempt to try to record it again. So, um, this new video I'm doing is a quick, so it's quick, it probably won't be that quick, but it's a, it's a kind of explanation or at least how I like to try to explain extroversion versus introversion, particularly between the NFs uh, the NFPs and the NFJs, um, because obviously I'm an ENFJ, so it's interesting thing to think about how and why NFJs, some NFJs, are extroverted, and in which ways the ENFPs are extroverted. Because it's something which kind of bothers me, and there's something, there's two different things that bother me about um, the ways that people talk about extroversion in NFJs and NFPs, or extroversion in general. So. The thing that bothers me about the way that people tend to talk about um, NFJs or ENFJs and their extroversion and ENFPs and their extroversion is that people tend to like to say that ENFPs are more introverted. Okay, And um, it, it doesn't bother me in that it's wrong, because it may well be true, and I can probably, because I've done this little illustration here, hopefully this will show you why I think that ENFPs feel more introverted than ENFJs. But it may also explain why also why that's a much more wild and difficult thing to handle for extroverts who are NFPs. Um, the other thing that seems to bother me about extroversion and introversion argument in general is that people tend to talk about extroverts gaining energy by being around other people, which is not really something that I really believe. Um, and the reason that I don't believe that is because I think, basically, I'll show you the illustration I've done for NFJs here, is that our need to be with other people is a certain need, and it we need we have that uh, we have that kind of need met at some point with our need to be alone to process the information that we've been gathering, because we're listening when we're as NFJs we're listening with our introverted intuition more and then we're speaking more with our extroverted feeling or we're gathering we're trying to adjust outwardly with our extroverted feeling so in my little illustration i've done here which is pretty rubbish as you can see um what i've done is i've kind of pointed out how or at least tried to point out how our extroversion works and possibly why it's easier to deal with because you see enfps tend to talk, or NFPs in general, tend to talk in their energy levels or their levels for being extroverted or introverted, in, in fact, as being more spiky. So ENFPs tend to have really strong spikes in energy and or they have very strong spikes in needing to be extroverted, but they also have an equal need sometimes to be introverted as well because they have a they have a much more spiked version of extroversion versus introversion so some of these will be right down here and some of them will be right up the top over here so when you have the nfj one and i think really what it's what it is is it's related to the fact that we're trying to organize the outside world as extroverted enfj as enfjs we're trying to organize the outside world so it's a little bit like with ENFJs, they're aware of when they need time alone, much more aware of it, because they're, they're judging by the way the world works as to how they feel about it. And then they're saying, right, uh, most people seem to do this to, be, to give them enough time to process information. So I will withdraw when I feel like I actually really need to. So with ENFJs, or in fact, this would be INFJs as well, is that this would be their need for extroversion and over here would be their need for introversion. So it's met somewhere in the middle over here. And as you can see, basically with the, with the illustration, I've tried to show that obviously, it's obviously a really simple illustration, a really simple little scribble, but this is the point where we probably feel most like if you're an extroverted, if you're an ENFJ, if you're an extroverted NFJ, then this, this bit here will be the point when you really need to be with other people, or at least you feel like you really need to be with other people. And your version of extroversion as an NFJ 
is that you're attempting to adjust outside judgments. So you're trying to gather enough information with your intuition and listening with your intuition to make a better way of dealing with the world on the outside. Because extroverted feeling is something which is trying to make the moral field something more obvious for everyone. So it's like, what would morally fit with more people's ideals? What would morally fit with more people? What would make more people happy? What would make humanity more happy? Um, how can I get more, you know, how can I adjust my moral views so that they fit with more people and they, they actually improve people's lives? That's what ENFJs are trying to do. And actually INFJs are trying to do the same thing, but they're doing it the opposite way around. So this would be their introversion time versus, versus their extroversion time. Because, of course, extroverts and introverts both need time to explore the outside world and explore their inner worlds. But it's much more, because I think it's a judging function, because extrovert, you know, extroverted feeling is that judging function first in ENFJs, it's more like, it's just more calm waves. It's like, I know when to, when to start this bit, because I've done this bit for a long time, now I'm tired. When it hits here, I'm tired now, I need to do this. Okay. And it's, it's, it's almost as simple as, I know when to go to bed. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't know about other ENFJs, but it, I feel like, you know, it's like, right, I'm tired now, I'm going to bed, right? ENFPs seem to be the ones that, because they have an extroverted perceiving function first, it's more like, I can keep partying, so I will. I don't feel the need to be alone yet. I don't feel the need to be tired. But then it seems like they're almost surprised that they have to crash the day afterwards, because it's like, they're, they kind of feel like that's an introversion need or that feel that they're more introverted but that's because they're kind of really um they've already really burnt themselves out by by being so extroverted at other times so of course their energy comes in a much more spiky fashion as in this illustration here and it's because they're trying to observe the world more so they're trying to see the world as an as an ENFP you're trying to see more of the world and gather more you're you're trying to uh, implement your ideas and be present in the world with your ideas um, and be really kind of out there and doing it you know it's if you compare extroverted sensing with extroverted intuition because extroverted intuition and extroverted sensing are both extroverted perceiving functions they're both out there trying to do something you know they're, they're both kind of uh, one of them is obviously seeing between the lines and being more general and talking about ideas the other one's um the other one is more like trying to sense exactly what's happening now, being in the moment and not worrying about the future. Those are really the two different things with extroverted sensing and extroverted intuition, but they're both extroverted perceiving functions, so they're both trying to do something. So that's probably why NFPs, ENFPs as well, feel more likely feel more like they're more extroverted or more, more like they're more introverted, because there are times when they feel like this. You know, it's like, oh my God, I really need to get away and be alone because they've spent so much time doing this crazy part at the start, going high up and hitting the top and then going right down and hitting the bottom and doing the same thing over here, hitting the top again, that they kind of feel like, wow, well, I really need some time to be alone. And I think that's probably why um, ENFPs uh, probably feel more introverted. Now, the other reason that they may feel that as well is because... Their next function, so ENFPs are observing ideas on the outside, in the outside world with, with their type of extroversion. You know, they're like, right, which, what can I gather here? What can I kind of go out there and explore and discover as an ENFP? But the problem is, is that on the inside, they're adjusting their judgments about how they feel about them. So, of course, trying to figure out something detailed, because it's an introverted judging function, FI is an introverted judging function so introverted feeling might be sitting there and saying right this is a lot of detail that I've got here I have to figure out all the details about how I feel about everything now um, when they're alone so they may feel that, that that time of being alone with introverted feeling as an introverted judging function might actually be a bit longer than the NFJ's uh, inner perceiving time because we have an introverted perceiving function which is introverted intuition so we're kind of like right what were the things 
what were the judgments that we gathered, which is FE, then what are the ideas that I can read between and what are the ideas that I can deal with um, and how can I you know, read between the lines with my introverted perceiving function, NI. Whereas with, with the extroverted, you know, with the ENFP, they're kind of going out there with all their uh, extroverted perceiving and kind of mucking about with their ideas. And then when they finally get, you know, back to a point where they can have the time alone, it's all about this huge amount of detail. How did I feel about all of that? You know, I've got all these m crazy actions and things that have happened. How do I feel about all those things? So that's hopefully at least one explanation about uh, extroversion versus introversion. Um, and I suppose what I could say at the end is that really, um, you know, I do feel like uh, as an ENFJ myself, I do feel like I need time to myself. Not a lot of times myself. I obviously prefer to be with other people. But um, it's probably not that I feel so strongly about being introverted. Like I feel like ENFPs are quite strong. They, they feel quite strongly about being introverted. But it's probably because it's an introverted you know, feeling function that they have. So of course they feel strongly about being introverted because it is an introverted feeling function, FI. So that's probably why they feel more strongly about their times when they're being introverted because they're kind of going through what they experienced and figuring out how they feel about those experiences. So, um, yeah, and then again, just another little thing to say. I don't think that this illustrates the idea that extroverts gain more energy uh, being with other people. I think they gain some energy being with other people when they're first with other people and they keep you know, they, they find that intriguing and useful. But then they also have this time when it gradually comes down again and then they need their time alone. I think that if if anybody you know, I, I I think it'd be interesting to hear from people that think, you know, in the in the stuff below, in the messages below, hear from people who actually feel like they really do gain energy from being with other people. Um or that they gain a huge amount and they don't need any time alone. Um, that would be very interesting to talk to some people with that uh, perception of how it works. Um, and yeah, so I hope that was interesting and uh, I hope that it helps and I'd like to hear from you in the comments below what you think and um, if you've got any more questions or you have any more thoughts about introversion versus extroversion, I'd be interested to hear um, and whether or not you agree with what I said. Uh, anyway, thank you.